Now that you've decided to deploy Hike Central, you're going to need to obtain the software so that you can install it on your server. After placing your order, you may receive an email from Hike Vision containing a PDF document that looks like this. This contains your licensing information, but also contains links for downloading the software packages for the client and server software, or even just for the client only. Additionally, there's a link for more detailed information regarding the server OS requirements and hardware requirements. Once you've got the software, it's time to install it. You can see that I've downloaded the server package here, and I'm gonna double click to begin the installation. And we see that the install shield wizard has begun. You will see a few messages along the way, read the message, and then choose to continue. Here is the software license agreement. You can read through this, but you must accept the terms of the agreement and then click next. And now we are asked if we're going to do a typical installation or a custom installation. If you read the text, it says a typical installation, most modules will be installed, including video surveillance management services and control client. Under custom, you get to select which program features you want to install. This would be recommended for more advanced users. But let's go ahead and take a look at what the options are under custom. First, we have to determine where we're going to install the software on your machine. Typically, you'll use the default location. Next, you get to choose from three different features. We have the Hike Central Video Surveillance Management Software, the Hike Central Streaming Service, and Hike Central Control Client. Now, it's important to know that the streaming service and the video surveillance management service cannot be installed on the same machine. So if I was installing the Hike Central streaming service and I select this, I would need to deselect the surveillance management service. I can install a control client along with the streaming service. But for a typical installation, we'll choose the video surveillance management software and Hike Central Control Client. And we click on Next. We're ready to install the program. This will be a normal installation, but it's possible that this could be a mirrored hot spare or a shared storage hot spare. These are more advanced deployments. For additional information regarding these types of deployments, please check with your technical support representative or consult with one of our field system engineers. We'll go ahead and click on Install. The installation process begins by installing some prerequisites and will advance through several different steps of software installation. Well, that only took about four minutes. The install is complete and I'm being given the option to run the web client, which is where I would do my initial login and licensing of my system. We have separate training videos on each of those subjects. Before I click on finish, let me point out that I have some new icons on my desktop. One being the Hike Central Web Client, the Hike Central Control Client, VS Player, and the Hike Central Service Manager. The Service Manager lets me see all the different parts of my Hike Central system on this machine and how they're running, what their status is. If I had to do any changes to the network environment, then I would actually need to come in and stop or restart all of those services for those changes to take effect. I can also see other critical information such as the currently assigned port numbers, which are all at their defaults at this point. We can change these later as we begin to configure the system. I'm gonna go ahead and click on finish. Notice that the web client did start. It does require a plugin. We'll cover that in a separate training video on your first login to the web client. So that's it, not too painful.